Hi guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another tip for your iPhone and iPads. This time I want to show you three ways you can combine photos side by side, either vertically, horizontally or in a grid to create a collage effect. The first way I'll demonstrate is by using the Apple Shortcuts app. The second way is a bit of a quick hack in the Photos app. And the third is my favorite free app for this sort of thing that you can download from the App Store. Time tags are in the description below to skip ahead, so let's get straight into it by opening the Shortcuts app and tapping on the plus button to create a new shortcut. Tap on Add Action and we're going to search for the word Photos. You should see a few different options appear, but the one we want is Select Photos. And because we'll be working with multiple images, tap on the little arrow and enable this option. We now want to add another step in the process. So in the search bar, type the word images. You should see this option to combine images. By default, the shortcut will stitch our photos horizontally side by side. However, we can change this by tapping on the word. You can choose to combine your photos either horizontally, vertically, or as a collage in a grid. Personally, I prefer to have the shortcut ask me each time what I want to do. So I'm gonna choose this option. However, you choose the option that best suits your requirements. Clicking on this little arrow next to the action gives you the option to add spacing or padding between the photos in the form of white lines. I think the number represents the number of pixels and I find that a gap of 20 works pretty well. The final step in our shortcut will be to save our combined photo to our library. So again, search for photos in the search box and scroll through the options until you find save to photo album. By default, it'll save to your recent list of photos, but you can replace recent with an alternative album if you wish. And that completes our shortcut. All that's left to do now is to give our shortcut a name by tapping on the title up here and choosing rename. Finally, if you click on this little icon in the bottom menu, I like to add my shortcuts to my home screen for easy access. Tap add, and now when you open your shortcut, you'll be prompted to select the photos you wish to combine. I'll show you how the collage effect looks by choosing four photos from Sophie's birthday. Click on add, and I'll choose to combine them in a grid format. Now if I open my photos app, there are my four photos combined into a collage and you can see the 20 pixel spacing it's made between them. If you want to see how photos look side by side vertically, I'll quickly rerun the shortcut. Select two of the photos, choose vertical, and there you are, my two photos combined vertically. If creating a shortcut seems like too much hassle, then I have a very quick hack, which is to simply zoom into your list of photos and take a screenshot of them. This will only work if the photos you want to combine are already side by side in your album. Then it's simply a matter of cropping your screenshot to remove all the menus and only show the photo, like so. Tap done and save to your library. If I zoom out, here is my combined photo. You can do the same horizontally by flipping your phone, zooming in to align your photos and again taking a screenshot. There you go. Finally, the last method I'll share with you is a free app called Stitch Photos. Having installed the app, skip through these introductory pages and tap on the X to close this sign up page. You'll need to allow access to your library for the app to work correctly and it will automatically identify any screenshots you've created. Tap on all photos and select the one you wish to combine. Choose whether to stitch them vertically or horizontally and you're done. You can tap this button to finish, or you can edit your new photo by tapping on it. This will give you a few more options, such as cropping the photos, either from the top or the bottom, or you can crop them from the middle. Tapping sort lets you switch how the photos are displayed. And when you're happy, tap done and save. So those are three ways to combine photos on your iPhone and iPad. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.